Good morning, so I've decided to go back and try and do a bit more on these other ones um, because I've sort of like left them hanging so it's best to try and finish stuff like I've always said in these vlogs there's no point having a handful of unfinished stuff and yeah Finishing off the inking, which I should have done before, but so to the side of me, I've got this little tray underneath, and I've got all my pro markers on there. And I'm going to start um, working on some colours for the rest of this mutant creature. I've already like coloured in the tongue; it's like a greeny sort of colour. Um, and I've sort of decided that's going to be the main theme, uh, colour theme for this, you know, creature. But it's just, uh, there's a lot of inking details that I want to get through. Maybe add some uh, nice cross hatching, or hatching, or whatever you want to call it. start today um, had quite a few other things to sort out paying bills etc and all that boring stuff <coughs> yeah, so yeah usually happens when I've got other stuff to do so <coughs> I'm going to buy myself some more of these brush pens and I've seen some like the Pigma uh, brush pens, they look quite good so I'm going to get myself a few of them next week so yeah so right now I've just had a I've got, I've just had the internet to pay and Sky to pay all, all in the same week um, Usually, like, uh, takes a lot out of the money. So, I mean, Sky TV is like, you know, a cable, obviously, sort of like that, um, a service. But they they keep putting the prices up each year. Uh, some can, some people might consider it as like a luxury, but uh, not really because we don't have a a normal TV aerial. Uh, Someone ripped it off, so <laughs> um, so I really had to get Sky in anyway. And plus, there's a a lot of better programs on the normal telly, so that's why I just uh, we have Sky. But like I said, they put the prices up each year, only by a couple of quid, and I just find it annoying. But then I think that's like any place or any company put the prices up. Because they can, because they can get away with it. These big corporations just pisses me off. Anyway, I've calmed myself with doing some nice inking work. Don't really want to do that much detail. So on the on the hand, I'll sort of like um, the colour will create texture as well I'm going to get on with that I think what I'll do is I'll do a time lapse of me working on this uh, because I can't think really think of what to say and um, so you'll just see a little section of this uh, or bits of it just done real fast so yeah
So I'm still uh, messing around with this mermaid drawing. Um, just trying to get it all inked and that. I've sketched a bit more of the chain bit. Um, just a few details like um, scales and stuff. Which I've started to sketch there. Started to sketch that. I just need to white that bit out because it's wrong. And just short on that bit. Get rid of all that. And finish inking the tail there. Um, so that's going to be like a lighter colour. Um, that thin bit. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy with this. Um, I'm still going ahead even though I know that I'm in particularly right or anything. But I'm hopeful like when it comes to the inking stage I'll just um, correct it as I go along. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just carry on with it. It's more of a colour exercise. Uh, try and do like mixed media, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, do like uh, pro markers, copic markers coloured pencils, bit of paint, bit of gel ink, highlights and things like that. Uh, yeah, so still carry on with inking this. Um, and I'll probably show you an update at the weekend. Uh, but I think it's best if I just try and do established drawings, like my horror stuff. I've um, done a bit more of that. As you can see, I'm just working on a lot of the um, colour details around the mouth. Oh, I've added purples and pinks and stuff and I'll try and like deepen them with a bit more red and stuff and I don't know, just try and try and work everything out just as I go along and actually finish a drawing. That'd be fun. So I've got five of these uh, little sketchbooks which I've um, sort of dedicated them to graphic novel layouts and so I'm making a start on my graphic novel um, the slow start because page one is just one panel <laughs> so um, it's a little preview I suppose um, it's like uh, the main character uh, I won't t say too much about it because there's still things um, in my head which uh, I need to work out a bit, but it's a classic good versus evil sort of um, book. Um, I'd say it's it's sort of like Harry Potter, but not. Um, it's got elements of other stuff. Um, there's no magic in it. Um, what else can I say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just working on laying out there the pages, and that is obviously page one, um, first panel. So we know it's a boy, but I don't know. You can see that he might have a black eye, bleeding nose. That's all I'll say for now. Spoilers. So I finally inked that hand on that mutant creature, um, because this arm's a bit more deformed, the bone. I wanted it to be bent like it was, you know, it's different from that one. That looks, well, I'd say almost normal, but no, it's a mutant creature. So I wanted that one to be a bit receded, a bit back, whereas this one's more forward, and that's why the fingernails, you know, come off the page. So I finally inked that um, loosely after I re sketched, you know, just to make it in keeping with that hand, um, sort of similar. So, yeah, I think, you know, drawings like this, it's always going to be like a work in progress. And, you know, um, colours and stuff, I think it's good that you can uh, lay the grey down and then uh, add colours over the top. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try and incorporate more greens. It's not going to be all green, like, but it's going to be green slimy highlights especially on these bits there that look like slam bits and you know that's what I've done on there um, like slimy bits and stuff like that a slight bit of yellow there as well I uh, want some slam there done a slight little highlight of green there but there's not much slam on that bit and big uh, pus looking horrible drips and shit, you know, usual stuff, so, yeah, 
coming on that, but it is slow going all this. I don't know these artists on YouTube do them um, time lapses of, you know, full drawings, you know, like they're really good. And especially like the realistic ones, you know, but I suppose I just get on with it, like, you know, like, and stop moaning like I do, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just find it hard to do like time lapses or focus on one drawing at a time. Uh, yeah, crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with a bit more of this before I have to pick up uh, my daughter from school. And yeah, all my pro markers and stuff just laid out on the little tray underneath. Hmm. Trying to do a bit more of this, but that, even that's slow going. Oh well. I can just look at the pens for a while. And just decide what colours I'm going to use on these drawings. I've been thinking about that mermaid drawing. Um, still going to carry on with it. Uh, that blue is just... Um, Wanting to be used for that mermaid, you know, in the background and some nice blues. I've to find all my other pro markers. This is only like a little selection of them. They're probably hiding. They're probably running out, and you know they don't want to be killed off by being empty. But I'm afraid I've got to use them. I've got to get some more pro markers. So right now I'm still doing a bit more on this mutant creature just want to add a bit more depth around the teeth on the gums <coughs> so I'm using a brown it's called a henna pro marker and I want to go over it with a purple it'll, it'll turn it slightly more of a darker red so I'm doing. So in between doing this I've done quite a few real good sketches in my sketchbook uh, which uh, I will sh be showing you soon because um, I'll be due to do another sketchbook tour. Uh, still a few pages to fill so you know there's that coming up and definitely some more drawing videos. Uh, I want to do maybe two to three drawing videos a week you know away from these uh, vlogs which I'm still doing because uh, I want to try try to like I don't know challenge myself to draw some new things as well and just see what I can draw um, not necessarily how to draw videos maybe just like let's draw you know something or so let's, you know, something along them lines. Um, so I've got to blend this. What sort of time are we looking at? Oh, quarter to ten. Yep, ten o'clock is Supernatural on, so I'll be watching that. So I'm going to end this vlog soon. I forgot what colour I was going to... Oh, purple. That's it. Get the purple and go over it. create a red colour but it's more of a, a darker purple I think it was a was it when I threw the orange over that ah yeah it creates a lighter type orange that's crazy that hmm it's good that you can overlap these but sometimes you can sort of lose the the colours you're on about sometimes. I just want it to be darker and then can go over it with other markers. Maybe start to blend and follow some of the lines more.
So the, the idea is just to make this line um, along the gum line where the teeth are a lot darker and then I can follow the lines of these you know mutant gums and you know really try and add some depth. It's the plan anyway. So I can maybe find that pink and go over it again. Let's see. some of them harder lines blend it yeah so I'm also doing this and I've done a bit more if I can move this up over here so this mermaid um, thing I've done a bit more detail there and some more bits of seaweed on the top. I'll just move this and do it a bit. And so I've erased most of the pencil lines on the head. I've just got to sort that jawline out there. I'm not happy with that. I'm still not happy with the shoulders. Um, I'm going to try and uh, mess around with that a bit more. Yeah, a bit more texture on the tail in the background. More seaweeds and stuff. Um, I started to ink the chain around there. There's a little bit here I've messed up on. I'll just wipe that out with a bit of pen and draw the chain going, you know, behind the neck from both sides. Uh, I've added a bit more detail on the shell things for the bra and maybe, maybe do a little fastener thing or something. Or, I don't know. <laughs> just see. And I've added some little textures on the side and I've just got to work out how that's am I going to draw all the um, fish scales on the edges or all of it I think it would be best just to do the edges and the edges you know here and there and try and fill it the middle bit in with colour <coughs> sorry and maybe just have like a white uh, reflection going somewhere through there. Um, there's another bit of seaweed there on the corner that I have to draw in. A bit there. And just work out the flowing of the hair. I was going to do it all the way around, you know, down the hair. And it's going to be like red hair. Just like the little mermaid. <laughs> yeah, but I really am enjoying this, even though um, I'm sort of out of my comfort zone drawing this type of stuff. And, you know, getting the anatomy right and things like that but you know it's still fun to draw and just learn as I go along you know uh, that's why this one's taking me a bit longer so anyway I'm gonna leave it there tonight because I'm getting tired and I'm gonna watch Supernatural so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm glad to make a start on that uh, graphic novel. I've already drawn little pages here and there but I don't I don't feel like I want to show anyone yet until I get something published so yeah anyway I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this and cheers now!